has been thrilling souls around the world uh, since 1964. Yeah. And is still as potent as she ever was. Stepping out of Babylon. No wonder she's the beloved queen of reggae, Marcia Griffith. You move into heart. Whose latest uh, studio project, like her, is simply timeless. A treasure trove of classics in tribute to the legendary Studio One. To have you on my Some of which she will perform for us live right here on our stage. We welcome right now Marcia Griffiths. Marcia. Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> And, we, and, and as you heard, we have a live studio audience to take it in. Yeah. All fans of Marcia Griffiths. <laughs> Who is Mr. Fan? I'm think... so surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Oh, really? You didn't yeah. expect so many people to come out for you? Come on. You're too modest. Okay, so let's talk about Studio One. What is Studio One to you? Studio One means a whole lot to me. I see Studio One as Jamaica's Motown, where all the great artists, mm. I usually say that's where we graduate. Coming out of the stables of Studio One, I realize that it's a pot of gold. Yes. It's a treasure. It's like a reservoir that can never be empty. Yes. And I thought that I would like to do a project saying Marcy Griffiths sings Studio One. Mm -hmm. Because there are so many classics. And Studio One is where I got my first opportunity to do recordings, 1964. Okay. So remind us of some of those records that you've done at Studio Can you even remember them? You have so many records. Oh, Winford, please. I'm not going to see night. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, there are so many records in well, your catalog. Yes. I yes. did a string of songs in the 60s written by Bob Andy. Mm -hmm. Melody Life, Tell Me No, Truly Feel Like Jumping, Mark My Word. Mm -hmm. I did Words with Free Eye, Late Free Eye, Tony Gregory, You're Mine. Mm -hmm. And what had happened then was Mr. Dodd was overwhelmed. He wanted to find a hit song so badly for me that he had me doing collaborations with almost every good male singer. Oh. I did a collab with Bob Marley, Oh My Darling. And he was just seeking for me to get a hit song, but... It was not until 1967 that I had Feel Like Jumping. That was my first hit song. At Studio One? Yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Almost everyone from the stable of the Studio One was so hooper talented. Yes. There was Jackie Opel from a small island. He was like short but powerful. He had one of the most powerful voice. He mm -hmm. did Cry Me a River. Mm -hmm. And one of the tracks I'm going to be performing today, You're No Good. Leroy Sibley's from the Eptones, Ken Booth, mm -hmm. Bob Marley and the Whalers, Delroy Wilson, Carlton on the Shoes, Whoa. just to name a few. Okay, so uh, this, this timeless project, who made the selection? Um, Donovan Germain and myself. Oh, really? We selected this. It's, it was hard. Yes. Because Studio One has so many songs, but mm. a lot of the artists use the rhythms to write other songs on it, and they're all big songs. You know, Barry Salmon did a couple of Studio One mm -hmm. rhythm, big hits, Freddie McGregor, you know, just to name a few. So I didn't want to do those. So I just chose some that so, all right. was so not we, too overdone. So there must be one or two of them, a few of them who, that, that moved you most. One of my favorite on this album was, is Ken Wood, Home. Home? Yes. Home, 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 oh yeah. I wanna go home. Don't get this this audience going yet. Anything else you can you can tell us about that that is special to you? And another favorite of mine, which is a favorite of many others, is the medley, the ska medley. Yes. With um. Toots, I'll Never Grow Old, and uh, You're No Good, and Bob Marley, two other songs from Bob Marley. That's the medley, the yes. scam medley. The, the song, What Kind of World We're Living In. Talk about that song. Because that's that one. That song yes. is the single that is released yeah. on Tad's 
label. And you know what? That song fits this time. It yeah. has a positive message. What kind of world am I living in? Yeah. Is it a world without love? What kind of life am I living? Yes. Is it a life without love, you know? That's what I thought. I wanted you to say that um, because when I heard it, um, they... Yeah, because even from that time, these guys were so conscious and they had a vision of the world that we are living in. Yes. So the message, even from then, was positive, mm -hmm. you know? And it's very, very relevant in this time. Exactly. With what we see happening in yeah. the world, the resurgence of racism and, and these things. I can't be happy. I can't be free. Yes. Everything I try, there's always someone who want to hurt me. Yes. You know, it's reality. One good thing about the music is that it's mm. the strongest weapon. And this is what we have to use to send the message to the four corners of the earth. Yes. You know, through the medium of the music is what we're going to use to unite, even for this generation, mm -hmm. to bring people together in a oneness. And as long as we are teaching and educating and uplifting through the music, then we're on the right track. Touch Records. Yes. They're behind you with this project. They're doing a wonderful job. They're doing a great job with it? Yes. So it's going to be released? Um, will be June 14. June 14. Everyone can get it. Any, any special pre-sale offer? Buy early and of get course, something? Of course, we'll be giving away quite a couple of CDs. I don't know what means they're going to be using to give these away, but... But they'll hear about Tads it. Tads will be giving away yeah, some, some yeah. products. Yes. Nice. And you'll be touring on it too, aren't you? Yeah, aren't yes, you going yes. around the world with this timeless project? Yeah, of course. You know, are you not letting up Marcy Griffiths? No, I just got back from Germany, did six shows with gentlemen. Yes. Germany and Austria, and we are going on June 4th to Switzerland. Wow. And Italy, and then we go back to Giel, Rotterdam. We are... We are doing another show with Bujo in Giel, Giel Festival. So you see, you're as timeless as the <laughs> records in this album. The album is timeless, you are timeless. Well, I can, only say, I can only say thanks be to God for preserving me. And of course, my fans, I would never be here without them. Ah. So thank you. Oh yeah, they are so <laughs> animated and in love with you, Marcia Griffiths. All of us, we love you so much. I love you all more. And you always bring so much color and fun and upliftment to our stage. Thank you. We should have you every week. <laughs> I have to join Copeland Line. Oh, Lord. <laughs> no. We don't have no more Copia. You know what? <laughs> we keep still in there. <laughs> Marcia Griffiths, we're going to leave you to do what you do best with Yeah, that. thank you, Winford, for having me. I'm yes. going to take a break right here. And when we come back, she'll be live from Timeless. You don't want to miss that. After the break. What kind of world am I living in? Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment.
in life And that doesn't mean to hurt each other Ready, come to rock steady. 
Thank you so much. Thank I you for that. I enjoy every moment. That is special. Yeah. Look out for it. It's called uh, Timeless. That's the name of the album. Marcia Griffith sings Studio One. Yeah. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more excitement right here on this stage. <laughs> Say them cap.